In this TV tips, let's see how to enable the read-write splitting in RDS or SQL Server database. The read-write splitting features are available on RDS SQL Server 2017 Enterprise Edition and 2019 Enterprise Edition. And Enterprise Edition in the new version in the future will also support this. If your database system receives a large number of read requests but a small number of write requests, a single primary RDS SQL Server instance may not be able to efficiently process the read request. This may even interrupt your workloads. In this case, you can create one or more read-only RDS instance to offload read requests from the primary instance. This allows you to scale the read capability of your SQL Server database system. You must enable the read-only routing endpoint so that your application must add the endpoints of the primary instance and the read-only routing endpoints. This is different from RDS MySQL rewrite splitting mechanism. Your application needs to take care of the request distribution. Usually, the best practice is that the normal business requests, which may include both read and writes, are sent to the primary instance endpoint. Then the heavy read requests like BI report query or analyze queries are sent to the read-only routing endpoint. It is convenient to self-define the weight of the read requests across the read-only instances for the load balancing. Now, let's see how to do it on the RDS Web Console. Thank you.